Equity markets have rallied by 14% since April 2023 and are trading close to all-time high levels. This raises an obvious question in the minds of investors about the future return potential and what allocation they should have to equity asset class. Hi, I am Hemant Kanawala, Head of Equity at Kodak Life Insurance and I will try to address these issues in this edition of Market Outcome. Long-term return of equities are determined by earning growth. To assess the earning potential of corporate India, let us look at some of the structural drivers of the economy. Number one, structural policy reforms. The government has undertaken a number of economic reforms like GST, reduction in corporate tax, and introduction of RERA, which have led the roadmap for sustainable high growth of more than 6%. After the initial hiccup, JC system has stabilized and monthly collections are more than 1.5 lakh crores. With implementation of RERA, we are seeing a revival in real estate with housing activity growing a strong across key cities. Number 2. Healthy external sector India's share in world exports is likely to increase in both merchandise and service sector. Government has announced production link incentive schemes with an outlay of 2,50,000 crores to promote manufacturing in India. PLI scheme for mobile is a big success and electronics exports from India has increased to $23 billion from $6 billion in FY18. Hardware manufacturing is expected to be next big area of manufacturing with hardware PLI receiving a great response from the industry players. Increased exports will help boost production and create jobs, thereby increasing economic growth. Number 3. Macro Stability Currently, India is well positioned on various macroeconomic indicators. Inflation is less than 6%, which is within mandate given to RBI. Also, current account deficit of around 2% and fiscal deficit of around 6% are at manageable levels. India's forex reserves of more than $600 billion has helped in giving stability to Indian rupee. Stable macroeconomic indicators support the policymakers in taking steps to drive economy towards faster growth. The macroeconomic stability amid the geopolitical convergence has propelled India's entry into JP Morgan Global Bond Index, which are likely to attract flows worth $23 billion. Number 4. Infrastructure Investment Central Government CapEx expenditure increased by a whopping 225% to 10 lakh crores in FY24 versus 3 lakh crores in FY19. As a percentage of GDP, it rose from 1.6% to 3.7% during the same period. Improved infrastructure reduces production costs and promotes investment. The government is promoting investment in new areas like renewable energy, green hydrogen, and electric vehicles. This will allow Indian corporates to compete with global companies in these areas. Number 5. Favorable Demographics Per capita GDP of India is expected to increase from current $2,500 to $4,500 over the next decade. This is a period where economies usually see premiumization in consumption and a marked increase in discretionary consumption like durables and automobiles. Corporate India had a single digit earnings growth in last decade as economy was absorbing the disruption created by external environment. However, the earnings growth has improved to more than 15% in last 3 years and is likely to sustain mid-team growth for next few years. Net profit of BSE finite companies have increased from 5.5 lakh crores in FY19 to more than 10 lakh crores in FY23. The improved corporate health with high free cash flow generation, the highest seen for corporate India, and repaid balance sheets for banks set the stage for a recovery in the private capex. Oil prices above $100 and slowdown in global economy remain key risk to Indian economy in the short run. However, we believe that Above mentioned structural drivers will insulate Indian economy from these variables in the long run. 
all the above factors are throwing interesting investment opportunities in terms of businesses which are small today but have potential to become big over the next decade at kodak life we have always believed in investing in such opportunities and hence have launched a new fund offering kodak midcap advantage to offer a platform to invest in mid size companies please consult your advisor to invest in this fund to summarize india's economic growth remains resilient amid gains of formalization digitization and government capex spending india is well poised to grow above 6% in fy24 we remain constructive on long term potential of indian equity markets and recommend investors to invest at any significant correction wishing you a very successful investment journey